Alright, so we got a 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer. Uh, customer come in stating that the horn didn't work. Uh, so they just bought it from us. Uh, we're a uh, buy here, pay here car lot. Well, the customer stated the horn wouldn't work, so started digging into it and found the relay unplugged. And as soon as we plugged it up, in fact, it was another technician, but as soon as he plugged up the, the relay, uh the horn got stuck and it was just blowing 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 so couldn't figure it out uh the technician was saying it needed a, a whole steering column i went over there to take a look at it didn't need a whole steering column it was in the clock spring assembly uh and the horn pad started looking around told him uh, uh well for one we couldn't even find a the clock spring for work uh so Started trying to find a way to maybe repair the one that was on there. And uh, I like to take things apart and figure out what it is anyway. So we, uh, technician said it was all right. He, he didn't mind passing it over to me if I thought I could figure it out. Well, took it apart. And I, I did some research. And, uh, everybody was saying, you know, it's $600 repair to, to fix it is what they were quoted at dealerships. And, uh, other mechanic shop so I uh, looked around and found out there's one video on how to remove the dash pad or the horn pads uh, if you're not sure how to do that and you can check that video out uh, anyhow I, I took it apart and was looking and if you look right here see how it's got these little clips right here well, that's the uh that's for the horn assembly well, there's three of them this one here is done let me get focusing in you see what's cracked in there it's done broke off on this side here and then this one here looks like they all broke off on this one and i don't know if uh somebody punched the steering wheel uh because of road rage i, I don't i don't know how it happened but they broke anyway and what i found is the one that wasn't broke was nice square had a good gap to it and a good uh compression stroke there i guess you'd say these over here on both sides right here it was bent down it was kind of cocked uh, the screw didn't want to sit up very square and there wasn't much of a stroke in there and same way with this side uh, it was about just the same uh, there wasn't much it was hung about right here the screw was pushed over because this tab right here was bent down so all i did is took a pair of pliers and grabbed it right here grabbed the screw and kind of rotated it back up straighten it up uh, i've already done this one but i just thought i'd let other people know uh, they might find it helpful that way you don't have to buy this whole whole pad here um so yeah this is on a 2008 lancer es uh but i went ahead and i plugged it all back up before making the video and sure enough that works you press the horn and it functions as it should so i thought i'd just make a little quick video to help others out you just want to I'm gonna bend these back out right here and make sure you got a good square surface there where it's even and so the screw ain't cocked over when it gets cocked over it shorts out the circuit and your horn gets stuck starts blowing so yeah i just thought i'd try to help folks out but uh y'all have a good good evening and uh take it easy see you